Hello Starseeds and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back friend. So as you can tell from the title and the thumbnail, today we are doing a heart chakra video. Yes, this is the fourth chakra installment of the seven part series. Um, so now we are at the center. Um, their heart is represented by the color green. Um, as we've stated before, if you have been watching the previous videos leading up until now, the word chakra um, means spinning disc or wheel. Um, and we have seven of them, uh, seven major chakras um, within our body that keeps our body going, that's connected to different things, that can make us feel up and down in different types of ways. And today we're going to talk about the heart chakra, um, which is the big the most where you feel you everything you, you feeling definitely comes from the heart um so we're gonna get into that in this video so the sanskrit word for heart chakra is the anahata chakra um so this is gonna be represented by the color green um your heart is located in the it, the chakra is located in the middle of your chest all your chakras pretty much align within the center of your body so yes your heart is here but the chakra stands in the middle of, of your chest um and your heart chakra is going to regulate your thymus glands the breast the upper back of course the heart your lungs um your circulation and the blood that's why some people say um you know when you have like rubber bands or something too tight on your on your wrist or something's too tight on you and you're like oh you're cutting off my circulation yeah your heart can stop if your blood stops flowing and pumping through your body in certain areas um and this also is going to regulate your hands and your shoulders um so that's why your hands are very very important your hands hold a lot of power they hold um pretty much like the map and the doorways to your soul as well. The soles of your hands, just like the soles of your feet. Um, very important, all connected to the heart um, and the heart chakra regulates this. That's why um, when your heart chakra is in a good place or it's balanced, um, you're doing more things with your hands, but you're being more creative, whether it's cooking, um, cleaning, all of that comes from love. All of that comes from the center. Um, with the heart and then everything being green that's earth element um as far as, and as well as air too and um so the heart chakra is represented by the lotus with 12 flower petals um and 12 is a very important number think about the 12 zodiac signs think about um the clock and, and how it, you know, 12 o'clock and it, it 12, it's 12 numbers on the clock. There's um, not 12 hours in a day, but 24 hours in a day, but it, it's broken up by 12. So um, that's very important. And 12 breaks down to three. So three being creation and think about tarot and the three of swords card um, piercing right through the heart. So um, things like that, a lot of that different things are um, connected and it's important um so your heart is the heart is the center of all of this um it's also associated with love generosity compassion and forgiveness okay so if your heart chakra is balanced you're going to see all of these things okay um you're also going to be aware of how things are interconnected uh you'll be able to see things from a more empathic standpoint of view um, from a more caring, um, a more uh, sensitive, not too sensitive, but enough sensitivity to two situations. Um, you would be able to also give unconditional love. Um, that's like how people love for their children, how people love for some, some of their family members and friends. Um, it's just unconditional. They're, nothing they can do or nothing they can say, you're always going to love them. You're always going to, you know, have this this love for this being or this person um inner peace and well-being that's all parts of a well-balanced heart chakra um and an active heart chakra as well um so under active um traits of your heart chakra is over giving um if it, if your heart chakra is out of balance or um blocked um 
you may tend to be too nice. Um, so you're going to have both of the extremes. You're either going to be too nice or you're going to be a little mean. Okay. Um, you can have no compassion as well and also deny empathy. So, you know, someone's crying and you're just like, what you crying for? Like, <laughs> there's no, no passion, no concern, no, oh, I'm sorry, what happened? You know, are you okay today? Here's what we can, you know, do to make things better. There's no none of that. It's just like, girl, what, what you crying for? Like, uh, Go ahead. Like, you know, that's a blocked heart chakra. Um, so if you have feelings, if you're feeling like that, you may want to work on your heart chakra, okay? Be more loving, be more open, be more centered, um, be more grounded. Um, ways that you can work on this, um, so of course, meditations. <laughs> I'll have to meditate, a heart chakra meditation. Um, link down in the description box below. Also, wearing green. When you're working with your chakras, if you if you're working on a particular one for a couple of days or that week, you want to wear that color that represents that chakra, um, just to keep you in focus and keep you bringing in that energy that you're trying to um, bring in or unblock or release. Um, you also want to eat green foods. Always, always, always want to eat green foods. I start every day um, out with some green tea. I also do a um, green smoothie. Um, I put spinach in my smoothies every day. Um, you want to eat green foods, green apples, um, spinach, kale, lettuce, cabbage, um, things of that nature, green peppers, anything that's green, grapes, you know, any all your, your leafy greens, your green fruits, your green vegetables, all of that you want to stay, keep. that's why you want to eat colorful. You want to eat colorful because in the end, it's going to all make sense to connect it to all your chakras. Why Why your foods are all of these colors, okay? Um, so, yeah, that's your, that's the heart chakra. Um, also, some, um, some oils as well, some essential oils connected uh, that can help you um, unblock your heart chakra or, you know, that connects to your heart chakra and help you work with your heart chakra would be rose oil, neroli oil um jasmine oil eucalyptus pine and clary sage those are all great for the heart chakra um while working with it um trying to get it to open or get unblocked or any anything in that nature um as i'm recording this it is venus day it is friday um so yes yeah, self-love self-care um speaking of self-love self-care let's get into some crystals um, that can help you unblock your heart chakra um, as well and that connects to your heart chakra. So starting off, my favorite, favorite, favorite heart chakra crystal and a very common crystal would be rose quartz. Um, I actually have one on the ring too. <laughs> so um, this is my rose quartz pendant. I just don't have it on a chain right now. Um, I switch out my pendants. So I put my, I put my pendants in, um, in pink Himalaya salt to charge so I, I take my pendants off my court sometimes um but yeah so rose quartz okay rose quartz um very important any pink um crystals they're going to connect to your heart um pink and red uh, i mean pink and green sorry um they're going to connect to the heart so rose quartz is going to help with love help with self-love it's also going to help you pick up um certain energies um, it's like a, not a human lie detector, but like a human, like an energy amplifier or like an energy, um, absorber, I guess. But it's like, it, it can help you read people's energy. If you're wearing rose quartz and you're like toned in, you're tapped in, um, and you're at a certain level in your spirituality, you'll, you'll definitely start to notice how rose quartz works. Um, also... Um, green Aventurine. I love Green Aventurine. I also have that ring too. Um, green Aventurine is one of my favorite heart chakra stones as well. Um, we also have Malachite. Malachite you'll normally see has like the um, swirl designs and kind of like real a real like designy type of crystal. Um, very powerful, very powerful amplifier crystal. And I believe this is green calcite. Green calcite and fluorite kind of look looks the same, but I believe this one is green calcite. Um, it's kind of like a light green, clearish color. Um, so that's going to connect 
help you open your heart chakra as well. So, um, if you learned anything from this video, give this video a big like and a um, comment down below. Also, subscribe to the channel. Um, if this, if you learned anything new, let me know in the comments down below and share this video to all your social media platforms. Um, hopefully, you guys will work on your heart chakras for the next couple of days and stay tuned for the next video. Um, as we get into your third eye, and or I like to call it your first eye, um, your pineal gland chakra. Um, so that'll be next, the fifth. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Look at me skipping. How do I skip the toe? Sorry. <laughs> um, it'll be the fifth chakra, the throat chakra. So, um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.